this other day I went to to a club in Venda and then oh, Venda Nadi club I no, 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 there, there was a, no there, there was a club called Saint I will say mix mix for real yeah mix for real mix uh, Shout out to role. me. <laughs> I do love my piano. Okay. I wish one day I can make an Ama piano nice song. <laughs> I do really love Ama piano, especially the music that Gabza is doing, Kelvin Mom is doing. I fuck with that piano. Yeah. yeah. I wish one day I can have that kind of piano. Yay! Welcome to the second episode of Within with Hazel Mahazard. Welcome to 2023. I hope le right fabulous. I have in studio a man of many talents, one of the few defenders of house. And I'm so excited that this man is here today to tell his story because there is literally nothing about this man online <laughs> um without wasting any more time let me give the man of the moment his hour and allow him to shine in a soul <laughs> Hi, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Sharp, sharp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <Thank you. laughs> oh, you can actually speak Venma. Of wow. course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know you speak Venma. <laughs> Niko Amba, Niko Amba. Yeah. I'm a woman of many talents as well. Yeah, no, I can see. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm good, man. How I'm you? good. Thank yeah. you so much for taking the call. Thank you for being the second guest of the show. I really appreciate it, and I hope that we're going to have a wonderful interview. Oh, definitely. You know, I, I know you, but I don't really know you. But <laughs> having conversed with you, I pick up that you're really, you're a cool gent. You're a, you're a chill gent. <laughs> like you, you very, and you, you, you're very humble. I mean, you were here an hour before you were prepared. <laughs> this man was, yeah, he, nah. he came here before me. <laughs> I found him here, seated, yeah. minding his business and drinking his water. Tell me a bit about yourself. What kind of a person are you? But most importantly, who are you? Um, I'm Enoch um, Kumeleni. Uh, I'm from Venda, um, Butalu village. It's outside Tondo. And yeah, I'm, um, I'm a DJ. I make music. I'm, I'm a producer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that, that explains The men of the music. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. tell me, how was it, Hoholela uh, Govenda, and what role does or did your upbringing have on the man that is seated before me right now? Uh, I can say it was tough. Mm. Yeah, because uh, me growing up uh, at the village, there was no electricity. Mm. There was no water at home. You know, you need to to get a 25 liter and go <laughs> and get water. Um, so it was very tough. And walking distance to school, like, you know, we used to, walk to school, like it's a distance. Mm. I used to walk to, to, to school. Uh, so it was it was not easy at yeah. all. Yeah, it was not easy. Marawapusha. Yeah, no, we, we <laughs> had to. <laughs> now we had to. <laughs> and what role did your family have in terms of Wena and the the music? this thing or Wena or DJ or what was yeah, the reaction no, from I, your family? I, I, I didn't even tell them. But yeah. um, knowing my daddy, he loves music, you know. Yeah. Like, I grew up listening to all kinds of music, like reggae music, uh, gospel. Yeah. You know, so um, he loves music. But I I didn't tell them that I'm DJing and stuff. Mm. So it happened that um, this other day I went to to a club in Venda, 
and then go and down at the club. I no, no, so there, there, was a, no there, there was a club called Saint. Mm. Yeah, there was a club called Saint, <laughs> and it used to operate in the afternoon. Mostly. Okay. Yeah, it was in town in Tondo. So I went there to DJ there, and then coming back, we got an accident, and then that's when they find out that. <laughs> When I'm, when I'm not, yeah, no, when I'm not. When I'm a double life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Sure. Otherwise, I don't think at that time they were going to find out. Yeah, I, I was just doing my thing without letting anyone know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Why? No, no. King, was it a fear? Because this thing is not common. Especially, I agree, Oitibari, Favenda, the doctor, the engineer king. Was it that prejudice thing? Or when out throwing your music no, instead no, no. of um at that time I was schooling, you no, know, I actually did electrical engineering. Uh, uh so I was schooling at that time. Uh but I loved music. Mm. So I've always wanted to DJ, you know, growing up uh, watching uh Genere, uh, what we call Jim Ellie mm. and stuff, seeing the <laughs> DJ there and stuff. So it was nice, you know, seeing the DJ works in there. So I've always loved music. Mm. So yeah. So yeah, I had to do it. Mm. Yeah, I had to do it. And I don't think I had to tell anyone that this is what I wanna do because I was cooling. So it was just a side. Uh, like let's say side high school, mm. even though it was not paying. <laughs> until now. Yeah, until now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and tell me now, Katabaya School, here you are, you are pushing school, you do well, um, you go study further, we are engineering. Did you complete your engineering or? No, I'm left with mathematics and six. Otherwise, yeah. Everything is sorted. Are you gonna complete your studies? I don't think so. No. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So if you are not DJing, Maybe what for, would you be for doing? Knowledge, but I, I don't see myself working. So what was it? Was it the pressure? Yeah, and and have a degree, have a qualification, or you, no, you liked it really, at some point. Really. I think it was a way of coming to Pretoria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now when you leave home, you come in to school so yeah. they need to fund you every month so that you can pay rent buy uh, food mm. buy ticket to a uh, train tickets to school and stuff mm. so if you're not schooling i'm sure if i was not schooling they were not gonna fund me you know or maybe they were not even gonna allow me to come to pretoria because what was the point of me coming to pretoria if i'm not coming to school mm. uh, so i had to go to school Sure. But we ready lots of how. Yeah, no. I I to I had to do my, my my things, you know. So having been with Lamo Pitoria U Inoko, when was Inosol born? Uh let's say twenty ten. Mm. Uh, let's say twenty ten. Um it by the time when I started DJing it, I was twenty two, I think that's when Innosol was born. Okay. Yeah, I've been DJing in other clubs before and stuff, but it was not that serious. You know, it was just me loving the music and mm. I want to DJ and stuff. Now I was not even playing deep house, but yeah, I used to play popular songs and stuff. Uh, but the time when I started going to House 22, that's when I realized that this is the music that I've been listening to from compilations and stuff. And this is the music that I want to play. Mm. So I had to stick around at House 22. Okay. Yeah. So which which big boys they groomed you? Who who introduced you to this sound and this ear that you have? Because yo, your music, yeah. your music <laughs> expression, it deep, young. It <laughs> deep, deep, deep. Yeah, no, um, it have to be Crystals. It have to be Vini, mm. DJ Fresh. Mbuso, Pezulo Selections, you know, all those compilations, House Africa compilations, Soul Candy compilations. Yeah, those, uh, the things that I used to listen to. So, but when it comes to grooming and starting to follow more of the new releases that I don't even know and stuff, mm. I used to follow a lot of Silly Bean. When he goes to Giga, I will go and carry his lapper. 
Okay. And then mix for real also. Yes. Yeah, I will follow mix. Also, I will mm. go and carry a slapper or maybe if he release the CD, I will go and get his CDs and sell it his gigs. You know? mm. Yeah, so I, I can say uh, the likes of mix, Slipin, Malankane, Keso, BK, Deep Expressions. Yeah, those guys, they, they used to be popular and more regular at us 22. So... So you were learning from the best, eh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like it's in just a game for real, for real. Yeah, no, I I was learning from the right people, you know. And out of all those guys, ne? Kimang Okaring gave you the most monumental or the most fundamental life lesson amongst those guys. And what was that lesson? Uh, I would say mix. Mix for real. Yeah, mix for real. Mix. Uh, Shout out to role. Mix. <laughs> yeah, no, he played a huge role, man. Mm. Because for people to respect me, it's because I was playing exclusive music and I used to get that music from Mix. Mm. He, he fought with people because of giving me music. Mm. So I, I will say Mix played a huge role in my music career when it comes to playing exclusives mm. and be a better DJ. So, yeah, I, I, I'll give it to him. Oh, principal. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, my principal. No, that's, um, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. And then you, you get your experience. Walala, no. fanola. You are building now. You're building. Yeah. You're starting to make music. How did that transition happen for you? Actually, uh um after everything like school and meeting mix and stuff i met um dj q or mm -hmm. in Tangin, and then we started a group called engineers of house where we used to do podcast mixtapes mm -hmm. yeah so when we started uh that one that's one of the things that made a lot of people to to be aware of me because after playing i will write CDs and give them. And then it was my engineers of house mixtapes. So a lot of people, I think they started noticing me from there. Mm. Yeah, so after that, uh, I kept on playing at Hashtag until 2012 when I was playing. And then Team White House Africa was around for Ralph Gum, Never Leaves, you mm. album launch. Go House 22. Go House 22. Yeah. I'm the resident DJ. Yeah. I am playing my set and yeah. the team is there. Can I go take me to my love? Yes, yeah. that time. <laughs> and then he came to me and said, please send me the whole set that you played. And then I had to leave and go home and write him a CD. Mm. I got his email, so I used to give team stuff. Mm. You know? So everything started there. Now that I'm no longer holding bags for mix, yes, being following the guys and stuff. Now I'm a resident DJ at House 22. I played there and then I met Tim now. I've met Vini. I met Christos, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, and then that's when Tim, then following year, he approached me and Q because he also had us in Venda. He was booked in uh, one of the event in Venda. Mm. And then I was playing one on one with Q, and then he asked us if we can do a compilation for House Africa Sessions for. Okay. When yeah, we did the compilation, he loved it so much. Bali Villa Zaga, House Africa Villa Zaga. No, no, they paid. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, they paid. They are like myself personally. I used to make money because of I will come fetch the stock, and I used to come fetch it here in Rosbank mm. because I, I would catch the cow train and come here to Rosbank, he give me the stock, and then catch the cow train back to Pretoria. Mm. So I would come fetch the stock and sell it. Okay. So whenever I sell the stock, I was getting money out of it. So House Africa was your first bag? Yeah, it was my first bag. How go was the two never saw of a zag again? No, they used to. Never saw of a in the um, what was resident DJ? Okay, my first payment. Uh, okay. My first payment uh, was twenty two was five hundred rand per night. Yes, 
Okay. And I think it was. No, so no, we were chilled. That was why. No, it was good because a lot of people was not getting that money. Exactly. Yeah, no, they used to give me five hundred rand, but we got to agreement because I love saving. Mm. Yeah, I love saving. I think I know how to save money. Mm. So we get to an agreement that uh, I don't need that five hundred anymore. Okay. Let's work in a deal that I am gonna play the whole month. And then I will collect the money month end, because when it comes with five hundred, five hundred, if I take when the run now, gone. When you leave, spend two fifty. Yeah. yeah. So I decided that no, I would rather collect the uh, monthly. Monthly. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. So nelevo ka monthly. It was two thousand rand. I mm. mean, it's four weeks. Mm. So yeah. It was not. It was a lot of money though. Yeah, it when was you were young. It was a lot because it to cover everything. Yeah. I mean, rent at that time, it was cheap. Uh, food is cheap. I mean, if you've got 200 rand, you can buy. No, 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 Sunnyside. Yeah, no, I was staying in Sunnyside, <laughs> so. Yeah, no. <laughs> so everything was cheap. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, where's, where's Q? What happened to the engineers of of house? Um, Q is an um, intelligent, yeah, let's say those intelligent guys. Okay. And then... He was getting promoted at work because so he was at the mine. Yes, oh, okay. the mine. So, so it was a hobby choose, for him. Yes, he had to choose okay. whether he wants to be DJ or he wants to follow you know, his the, the work uh, life. Yeah, so yeah, no, he had to take it low a bit and go work. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you were on your own. Yes, and then I was on my own. But whatever that I needed. Uh, I will call him and then I will tell him, hey, I need this and this. Mm. Sometimes, actually, Q was doing this. Because he was waking, I was not waking. Mm. And I don't have money. Mm. I will search music on Trexos, mm. send him the music, and then he buys for me with his Trexos account. And then I log into his account and download you the, get the music. The music. Yeah. So he used to do that for me. You know, I think... When you're a product, and I, I don't know if it's luck or you not only fortunate to be surrounded by people who just supported you yeah. wholeheartedly. Yeah. Because do. as what well yeah. you know, I mean Q could have said, Hey John Nagaspana, when we talk radio the music yeah. or So so kudos to him, man. Yeah. Sometimes it depends on how you hold yourself with people, you know. Mm. Uh, sometimes you, you don't need to know too much when you're with people. Sometimes you need to to allow people to educate you. So once you start acting that you know too much, people will leave you because you know, you know a lot. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things that helps me. Uh, people, most of the people, I think they feel comfortable to be with me because I am not going to try and act as if I know everything and stuff. And even if we're arguing and anything, you know, I, w- I will just make sure that it, it doesn't have to upset anyone. I don't want to get to a point where if I'm with my friends and stuff and then I leave and then someone is not okay after that. You know? mm. Yeah, and I've learned to apologize. Uh, when you're wrong, you need to apologize. It it helps a lot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the game, Milihona, that time to the game now, it's not the same. Yeah, no. I think you can agree. No, and like Lenovo, but about China Lebo mix you know other thing. You know, I feel like no, they're, they're wrong. But they're very rare. It's it's not yeah. a lot. I feel yeah. like right now the game is about self enrichment and motomolomong. Yeah. They only care about themselves and and their bag and their numbers and their you mm-hmm. know like very in the desk bag eleven. No, uh, it depends on what kind of people you're meeting and what are your intentions in, with them. You know? Yeah, I I still feel very. There are people who are winning. There are people who are who, who still look out for other people. So it depends on your intentions, you know. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, if you've got inten- good intentions with people, you, I don't think there's any way that people will close you out because you are coming with good intentions. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to go to people with. Uh, 
maybe when you go there key so I want so but how I want that then they will always close you out because they know your intentions mm. yeah so I, I think it's that okay yeah. so no gabon but, but the game you know have changed it has changed yeah, no, it have changed yeah. what would you say are the fundamental differences between then and now and <laughs> it's it's a steady 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 thing carrying a new tabisi so um like kicking quality a holy industry no what don't you like about the game now the game now okay okay there are some things that i do see but it's not like they are happening all the time or maybe it's for me i feel like let me say the game is still about music Okay. but i still feel worry the game is no longer about music now okay now nah, it, it goes with we've got more followings uh who plays the most popular songs and stuff it's no longer that thing where you're going to get to a gig excited and say you are going to Even hear something new people yeah. music yes yeah. so it's no longer True. exciting you mm. know it's no longer exciting if you get to a gig now and play all the popular songs and then people dance it's done you did a great job mm. it's no longer that thing that you're going to spend the whole week looking for, for new, new music, music yeah, and then yeah. you know that when you get there you're going to rock them yeah. and then people will give you an ear yeah. because yeah. once you start playing new music everyone is just getting angry everyone is just going to be there. even on oh. ama piano you know mm. i know that ama piano is more popular right now but if you get there and and you're not popular mm. and maybe you're not a producer and you get there and play exclusives and stuff people might not feel you the way a, a popular ama piano dj will come and play only exclusive people don't know anything but they'll vibe to it Yo, so in music it used to be like that you would get that play exclusive music and then everyone vibe with and also it's a hal as an unknown even no one even cared yeah. what's the name of yes, the dj uh, yeah at the time everyone is trying to get the song yeah so now are uh, you going to play a new song and then no one cares they're just going to wait for it to be popular and then they will get it yeah they no longer chase after songs and stuff and so but you know i also i stand to be corrected ne but i feel like as far as pitori is concerned we were fortunate that we come from Kantlelela that's where we were introduced to house because yeah. i feel like they have a deeper understanding mm. yeah yeah music and i remember having look at the house partying the dj at the laptop they pride themselves in introducing the crowd mm. to, to 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 new music yeah. you know and i feel like mojobeke it's more of like popular culture yeah. you know that life but Yeah, city uh, of gold. No, it's, it's like that. I've been in a situation where now like the music business is all about money and I understand that. Mm. Uh, I I understand that uh, it's helping everyone. Mm. You know, now you can get a booking because you've got friends who buy small champagnes. Mm. So now you need to get to get a booking so that you bring friends the that will yeah the mm. bolas you know mm. yeah so back then it was not ever about that it was just about the music it was just about the music the good you know? music yeah but i understand things have changed everyone is looking for money club owners they want to sell more bottles and make money mm. so that they can pay you so yeah, i do understand that but i feel re- a lot have changed But also don't you think Hore Lona so like kitlo bitsa Grootman because of I know your music <laughs> not necessarily ka age like go tsana le chaima you guys are young mara catalog ya le na ya music jo ka re khale le phela yo like lira music o mong ka re le na le 60 years and I I don't know but like for that na eo ke it's a Grootman level for me ne yeah. I don't you think Hore Lona guys you suffer from And I think Oscar Mbo is doing a good job. He's yes, Odala a genre that has a niche market, a very small market, but it's an appreciated market. But he also tries to appeal to generation Z, but not even my 2000. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with you guys, 
and all the role models Baba Budi thing, you guys are somewhat like rigid. You you believe in the old way of doing things. Don't you think or that's also an issue with like not being known? Come gonna go vote alohori like outing. I know you, but you know, it's like Lichheima, it's the same. It's so it's like Lona, you believe in your music doing the talking. Yes, it's good, but the world is also moving in a certain way. Yeah, sometimes it depends on what you want, you know? Uh, um, yeah, it's true. Oh, Oscar is doing a great job. Mm. Um, so what I'm saying is that um, it depends on what you want. Uh, what I do you want? I think I'm okay with the music. Just to the music. Ube producer, ube DJ. Yes, my music is fine. Okay. Uh, I, I've got a lot of streams on that music, which is what I want. Mm. Not really to be popular and stuff. I I don't really care about being popular and stuff. And I always tell people, that's why sometimes even someone, if they not talking to me nicely on Facebook or anywhere, sometimes I get angry and reply to them because <laughs> I don't treat myself like a celebrity because I'm not one. Yes. You know, so so you become a normal person, or yes, like I a normal become a person. normal person because <laughs> I don't believe that I'm a celebrity. I am not saying a celebrity. I, I I don't know what's gonna happen. I might be one in the future, but I wish if I can stay like this. Okay. My eyes are in the money. I don't want to be a celebrity when I'm not making money. Yeah. You know, mm. I, I avoid a lot of things like that. I just wanna make money. And make music that I like. Mm. Yeah, you can make the popular music. You can make this and that. You can gig every day and stuff. But um, it have to be about money and how you invest your money. So with me, it's all about money mm. and investment. Mm. So you 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 being okay over popularity. You'd rather have four followers, yeah. Mara yeah, Uberek, than yeah. have four million followers, and it's not really, it's yeah. not make sure. Yeah. Yeah. So with Oscar, it's coming all right. Yeah. It's good. He's doing dope. You know, he's mm. doing dope. It's good. Uh, so when now you don't really, you're not the, the TikTok account to the challenge, the how Ah, uh, not really. But now, how. If ever on a big online presence, how do people stream you? By, by, no, no, by no. I, I do have a, a huge following on, on, on social media. Like okay, on I know, popularity-wise. How about popular? Like, uh, you know, know, popular? With me, it's simple because I, I used to sell CDs on the, on on the, the streets. Street. So a lot of people know me. They From do the follow me. There are people who follow me for music. Yeah. They don't even care what I write. Mm. They don't care what I do. All they want, they just want to see me updating that I have released and then they go buy that album and listen to it. What I have wrote, whether I was swearing with you, they don't care about it. I have built that, that thing uh, through selling cities on the street. I think it's one of the things that helped me a lot. Standard. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, with me, I think it became simple because of that. Okay. Yeah. And then, Batuba uh, Hashu, how's the reception? Like, do you get love from from Batuba Yeah, I know. It's too much. The is love it? is too much. That's I, good. I've just started Sunday sessions uh, last week. Mm. Uh, the first sessions were full, like full from people from home. Udira, uh, guy, let's talk about your sessions. Let's do a, a young promo for your uh, sessions. I, I do them in Midrand. There's a car wash called Prestige Car Wash. Okay. Uh, it's next to a China City Mall mm -hmm. in, uh, in Boulders. Okay. Yeah, so um, I do them every every Sunday. Every Sunday? Yeah, every Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Let's let the pause. Yeah, we play the pause, but yeah, we, we even play Ama Piano later on. Okay. I do love Ama Piano. Okay. I wish one day I can make an Ama Piano nice song. You're not going to be a sellout? 
No, no, no. I don't. I don't care about those things. I don't. I mean, my, my friend is a king of my piano, so uh, I'm there when he's making my piano, and <laughs> and I I do really love my piano, especially the music that Gabza is doing, Kelvin Momo is doing. I fuck with that piano. Yeah. yeah. I wish one day I can have that kind of piano. So Onyako no. Producer Fela Pina, Evae, or Unyako Ira Piano? No, no, just a song, just to. Okay. You know. As in a soul, or you're going to oh, give it to a, a soul, piano I, artist? I, I, I sing a soul. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared of anything. That's you know? good. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I am not scared of anything. Even if I want to change and play on my piano, I will do that, but. I'm just doing it for my heart. I love Deep House and that's why I'm still stuck with Deep House now. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's talk about your friends, Gao, Chomia Puru, Chomia Gabza. How did that happen? How do you find yourself in that circle? Um Okay, let me start with Puri. Uh, I, I met Puri back in the days, I think like twenty fourteen. Mm. Yeah, that Yes. Mm. Yeah, so he used to come to us 22 there, you know. And uh, I'm that one guy that if you are very good, I will come to you and I'll tell you. So I used to go to Pur and tell him, you know, I will go all the time. I remember he once did a video for my album in mm. 2014. When I released an album, he did a video and say, please guys, go and buy Innocent's album. But we took a phone and do a selfie mm. with that, you know. Uh, to me, Paul is a hot man. I respect him. Uh, and they've done a lot for the game, which is, sure. makes me respect him a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah, even now we're cool. Uh, December, he booked me, actually, first January, he booked me on his show in Social Group, yes. you know. So, to, what, to I find deep? My, yeah, I played deep. How yeah, was the reception? No, it was good. It was very good. That's you know? good. Yeah, to find myself in such gigs. And then he booked me on another gig in Disofing. I think it was early December. Yeah, he booked me in Disofing. Mm. So to find myself uh, getting those kind of calls and those kind of bookings, it's it's a privilege. Mm. I, I really appreciate that, you know. Mm. I think we are cool because I respect them and uh, I always make sure that I show them love, you know. Yeah, and then with Kabza, the... Uh, me and Kabza, we used to talk back in the days, BBM time. Mm. <laughs> uh, the time of Blackberry. Yeah. Yeah, we used to talk on BBM and uh, yeah, he will send his music and the stuff, you know. Uh, and uh, I was the one that was exposed because at the time, I think I was already with South Africa and mm-hmm. stuff, you know. And um, yeah, Kabza's a Cool guy, I think that's why even today we are still friends. Mm. Um, you've got a good heart. If there's one guy that I know that I've got a good heart, is that guy. He, he always wants to help people where he can, you know. I understand that a lot of things give him pleasure and stuff, but he wants to help where he can to yeah. everyone, you know. Yeah, and then, yeah, I think the love happened. Uh, when I, after Umshove, all this friendship, I think it started growing there. After Umshove, when I asked to collaborate with him on a song, and then when I booked him for my birthday parties, mm-hmm. yeah, that's when we, 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 we get along a lot, you know, because I will go to him and then. He makes songs there. I'll be there. And then there are songs that he even gave me. Yeah. 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 yeah so with him, I think it's a saint, that guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've seen people with a good heart, but yeah, that guy is the last number of them. Oh, that one. Yeah, no. Malome Mota. Ankel Bramota. No, that's good. And uh, you know, in the industry, it's rare to build genuine connections. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not easy. Because yeah. skin like, so yeah. it's always mm-hmm. what can I get from you quickly? Yes. Or and then yeah. uh, association or pina or whatever. Yeah. So it's it's rare and I'm happy, Hori, you guys have that re- even though you're from different 
industries okay, it's the same industry genres mm. Mm. different genres but laugwana like that and i mean everything comes from house yeah. you know piano is inspired i even comes i just like house, house. i mean yeah and a little no sound high, it's going back it's to going more. Back there. Yeah. Even if you carry no comes out like lady powers, no, I can't believe it. So it's it's good, gents. It's good. Marler na lokili. Risk is an e. Namo industry, you know, so risk is an e. As I believe. Yeah. And you must call me up for one of your Sundays, man. Yeah, no, Let no, me come you know I, you know I, you know I do call you. <laughs> Let so me come yeah. represent there. Yeah, you know I call you. No stress. You know, you know no stress. Yeah. And I just like I wanted to uh but again find out from you what are your future plans, what's happening with you. Um what's up for 2023? Um uh, right now I'm the plans now is to build my Sundays. I want to grow them. Yeah. Uh, I want to grow my record label into deep records. Mm. I want to release as much music as possible. You know, I, I want to grow the people that I work with. You know, I want to give them opportunities. At least now that I've got Sundays, they can have chance to play there and people hear them. You know. Mm. Uh, the, the plan is that, man. And, and I'm getting away from. Or things that don't benefit me. I'm just wanna be that guy. I just wanna be an investment guy. Mm. No, I mm. just wanna do things that really benefit me. I just wanna be that guy who invest. Because mm. from what I've seen with COVID, I I don't wanna be in a situation where I lose everything because mm. of being careless and stuff. Mm. So I just want to invest and invest and invest and invest. Or yeah. secured. I want to be secured. Yeah. Even if COVID comes back, I you have to find me secured. I need to have streams of money. Yeah. Kupalo, uh, this is something. I, I, for me, I think my first introduction of you was, I think I, I saw a tweet and COVID and, and losing everything. Mm. Was it you who lost a car? Actually, that car was not lost. <laughs> Whose but car was repossessed? Was it you? No, it was my car, but it was not repossessed. What happened? Um, my car had a problem, and then I called Audi Assist. Okay. Because they said, is it drivable? And I told them that, no, it's not drivable. Okay. Yeah, and then they said, okay, it's fine. They're sending someone to come fetch the car. Okay. And then they came and fetched the car. And then, yeah, I took the picture out of joking and posted that thing, you know. Did you but caption it something? Yeah, I did Weezing. caption it. <laughs> 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 no, I was like, yeah, I lost the car, bye-bye and stuff and stuff. And that thing oh. got serious in a way that it was out of control. Yeah. Yeah, but to be honest with you, yeah, COVID-19 was tough, man. Okay. It was very tough. It was not easy. Mm. We had to do things that... <laughs> things that what? <laughs> <laughs> not so <laughs> Yeah, no, we had to do a lot of things. Yeah. King, nearly twerker. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we had to twerk. You were twerking. <laughs> yeah, we had to twerk, yeah. <laughs> it was rough, no? Yeah, no, it was rough. How did you now, stay for, afloat? For everyone, for everyone. How did you stay afloat? Was Nazaga was not income? How did you? No, that's what I'm saying. We had to do things. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Tweka. no. Okay. In a solo, not tweka. Sauta. Lukile mo with him. Okay. No. Um. Yeah, the dangers of social media, hey, especially Twitter, because Nalena, I thought, and that's how I actually got introduced to you. Because when that post, then for now it was. Uh, okay, this guy can't afford to pay for the car. The car is getting repossessed. That's what mm. I. That's what I. That's what I know. But I'm yeah, glad but that you're here. Yeah, why? That, why clarify? COVID nineteen started in March, uh, and uh, that post was in April. Yeah. So, for a car to be taken, I think it needs to take at least three months, four months. Yeah. Yeah. So. Maradilo di change is a no to me. Governor change is a little more daily. Regular includes a car line. Libby's the investment, did ya? 
try and, and it's a matter of being inspired, you know. Uh, so that's why I'm saying you know, a lot of things are changing to me, you know, because I I don't want to be in a situation that I was with COVID-19. Mm. Yeah, so I, I just want to be the guy that save every single cent that I have, you know. Not that I'm going to make myself happy sometimes, mm. but I I just want to be, res- uh, like, I need to be fair to myself. Mm. Yeah, I need to be fair to myself, so, yeah. Maras Kuala Sanasiri Association is assimilation. So, Hagiri, Koloia, Hawichanchi, I mean, if, but, Nalipori, Nalikabza, Libana, so Luena, you are bound to Luena, mm. Uwawana, because of Batuba, U Pilang Libona. I mean, there's no way that you can hang out with millionaires and, you know, and not be a millionaire. Kabza was there for me, man, um, with COVID. Mm. He was there. I remember that guy, he said to me, You need my into the breakout sweaters. I did five sweaters for you, mm. and then he paid me. I was not expecting him to pay me. Mm. He paid me and then he used to, if you know Gabza, you know he loves clothes and he's got a lot of clothes. Mm. But he started wearing my sweater everywhere. When he goes to live stream and when he goes everywhere, he started wearing those sweaters mm. and I was getting orders like every day. I was selling sweaters every day. People would screen munch streaming the Kabza mm. and say, we need this sweater, we need mm. this sweater, we need this sweater. I was selling sweaters every day. Mm. I found myself here in Rosebank to come look for sweaters because in Pretoria they were finished. Mm. Adaman is your bra. Yeah, no. I, nah, yeah, no, Adaman no, is your Adaman, bra. Yeah, no, I'm nah. Yeah, no. Yeah, we need friends like that, eh? Yeah, no. We really... That's why I'm saying you've yeah. got a good heart. Ranali di cho, mi mara, si di cho, mi ganit. You've got a good heart. But I, I, I think, Liana, asim tuwa unya kam tuwa relax, si zing. Uta tu sa mua bona un riyam. Di manu walwe. Tu sa mua tai tu sa. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's another thing, ira un ri, at least di anshebe lo wabona. Because wa push a lo. Hi, guys. Relationship, yeah, Lena Yang inspired. Lena, maybe it's a little like a crutch for me, a queen of Ama Piano. Rather so. Yeah, no. Wait, hello, hi. Ne, let's talk about let's talk about the music. Um, you said fourteen. Naniki, naniki, count till seven. No, no, I've got seven 14. albums. No, I've got fourteen. You've albums. got fourteen. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I've got seven into the. Uh, volume so Nike did seven. it in too deep, yeah. So, did the other seven get in? I've got South Africa sessions, okay, and then I've got into deep sessions, okay, yeah. And then the into deep, they are you, you have the right, you have the masters, yeah. The into deep series, like into the volume one to seven, yes. I, I own the masters, yeah, yeah. And then from it, from volume three to seven, I own the masters of um, into deep uh, or, or series. Yeah. And then into deep sessions, it's compilations. I don't own the masters. Yeah. And then house Africa sessions, uh, I don't own the masters. It's compilations. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 advice do you have for a young guy, a young girl? Or are gifted in production? Or are music? Or are you push? But you know, I do not know my guy. When as somebody on a era music, go starting. On some music, how you push a brand? How? What advice would you give that person who's watching this podcast? Um, first of all, you need to. Have a YouTube, like not have a YouTube, like YouTube account mm. where you can post your things. Mm. Uh, open a distribution. Uh, I don't know which distribution. I don't. I just don't want to mention them. But mm. there are many. Mm. Yeah, if you get. Are you internet, independent? Yeah, I'm independent. Okay. Yeah, but I've got the dish. My distribution is from USA. Mm. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. So um, open a distribution. 
We really have young distribution LDGs. Google no, it. No, someone it told really me fed. about it. Yeah, I Googled okay. it and I've just started. Okay. And then I release my music by myself. No. Okay. Every day if I open the app, now I see how much money I have. So they plug your music to, on all these yes, platforms. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I want to withdraw money from the distribution, I can just withdraw it anytime. You mm. don't have to wait for someone else to send you money after six months and stuff. Mm. Yeah, so you do that and upload your music there. And the most important thing is to sell yourself to people. Mm -hmm. Selling yourself to people is not getting to a DJ booth and play and then you feel you sold yourself. That's mm -hmm. not selling yourself. Mm -hmm. It might be selling yourself maybe if people really love your set and stuff, mm -hmm. but they can forget you symbol. Yeah. Yeah, because you can play a good set now, and then someone will say, "Who's this guy?" And say, "Inno Soul." And say, "Okay, Inno Soul." And then by the time he leaves it to the club at two, he forgot that name. He doesn't even remember it. Selling so yourself is getting to people and ask them to buy your music. Now that we don't sell CDs anymore, mm. you can get to their phone, ask them for their phones. You download your music on Apple Music. Mm. So next, the next day when he wakes up and then when he wants to play a song, he will be like, "Hey." This album, who put this album? Oh, this guy, this is the guy who was playing yesterday. Let me listen. Mm. You, you listen to it. Hey, this guy has got proper stuff. Mm. And then now he's, he's going to go through all the catalog. Mm. That's selling yourself. But you're not going to sell yourself by saying, I'm in a soul and then it's done. Because people will forget Follow you. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, no. People will forget <laughs> you. They'll forget you. Yeah. Yeah. But if you get a chance of someone they give you a phone and then you get to buy your album, mm. they will definitely listen to it. And if the album is dope, they will definitely follow the catalog. Mm. They will listen to whatever that you have. And the more they listen to it, the more the money is getting in. The mm. more they listen, the more is the strains. Mm. So that means the money is getting in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now it's growth. Mm. Now when Spotify comes out, you've got over one million streams, which mm. is growth. So mm. you're good. I get you. Yeah. And at the yadi 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 contract the lady record label. What's what's your take on that? Um, I don't know because I've never signed. You've never signed. No, the only thing that I used to sign at South Africa is to the release a contract. So, so Bona, how were they making their money? If Bonabo printed a CD, when Oric said the CD, how were they making their money? No, it's their CDs. They're distributing for me. Mm. It's their CDs because they were printing them. Mm. I was not printing. Mm. They were printing. Okay. So we we'll go maybe, let's say a CD is 100 rand. Mm. And then they will take maybe 60 rand. Okay, we're not there for it. And then they take 40 rand, mm. which is good. Mm. You know? That's right. Yeah, it's not like they were going to shoot music videos for me and stuff plug my songs on radio and stuff. Mm. They were not doing that for me. Mm. So the deal was that they take my music to music stores. And still, when I order, I was ordering them as a shop. You know, I was ordering them. If they're selling one CD to Musica for six trend, I was going to them as like Musica mm. and buy one CD for six trillion. And then, CD, and then I get the profit here for trillion. I get you. Yeah. So no. that's how I was. Yeah. So it was a win-win. It was, ne? Yeah. And we took it a lot, ne? Yeah, no. But what do you prefer? But what do you prefer? No sway, isn't it? No, 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 <laughs> Why was that? <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Which one is this you know, one? You uh, know, the 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 industry I had deep house ne, from from back then. I really worried. But what about you? Never never really deep house girl. Baba Nyan is those uh, big sisters, you know. Mm. Yeah, so the way. Mm. Yeah, mm. Not uh, those 
once that you will find it to Europe and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then even if you go into Europe and then say maybe you gotta get your light there, they don't know you, they don't care about you. Mm -hmm. Someone will just say, you know, so and say, Oh, it's not so high. Shut up, I've got my university guy here. So who's this you know so guy? Yeah. So <laughs> We were so unfortunate when it comes to ladies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but good because, yeah, no, I found a, a long-term girlfriend. And, uh, yeah. So, King uh, Leta, Kwa, go, go, house 22 or... Uh, yeah, and, but the time I was there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yet, you know, so... No, I'm not yet. We're meeting. Ah, no, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Okay. I can't do any of those things. Okay. What regular did you do? No, that's 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 good. That's yeah. good. But now, how do you handle the attention? Yeah, no. The DM. I don't really have the, those kind of. Oh, the handle of young too. No, no, I don't really have those kind of. Can I wait? That's a good one. I know so No, no, no. no. I, I mean, ah. it's still the same. Come on, it's still the same. You know, most of the people that DM me, they will be talking about music, music. and they they will be stories. Maybe they're taking me on a song, on a story. Uh. Yeah, that's the kind of DMs that I get. Do you respond to your DMs? Depend, depend on what you're saying. Okay. Uh, you need to make sense. I can just reply to to you. everyone. Eh? Yeah, no. I get you. And mm. the music, do you listen to music? Yeah, no. I, I do that. I, I Have you found some fresh talent? A lot. A, a lot. lot. Yeah. And then what happens? I do release them on oh, my record label. Okay. Uh, I okay. do release them on my record label. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Your your sound, you know, what 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 inspires your sound? Because yeah, I mean, get Tomilo Jampela on your brand now. So it's only very inu so lunale mat. Because obviously, like your volume one and your volume eleven is not gonna be the same. Yeah. You know. So Nike ke kukrile mama hari olemo. And I think no good sweet. What what inspires your songs? Like Pinata Tana Lebo, I'm tired. You know, Pinata Tana Lebo King tomorrow. Tomorrow might not come. Tomorrow might not come. More uh, struggles and pains. If you can check all these songs, they are music. sad songs. They know? are sad songs. Yeah, and no. I've even seen you cry. Go mixing. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no they are sad songs. Like, they do touch me. They speak to me. Yeah, I, I, I love sad songs. You are, are your vocalist, mm. Norman. Yeah, I love sad hey. songs. I, I always tell my vocalist to... If I do a beat that I feel, or I feel this beat that it can be a sad song, yeah. I always tell them to go like that way, you know? Mm -hmm. When they write, I, I love sad songs because they, Are we, you we, we, speaking we, about your personal experiences? Yeah, can personal, you relate? Yeah, personal experience and what everyone have been through. You know, I'm, I think that song, Struggles and Pain, it, it healed a lot of people. Shh. That song. Wake the spirit in my <laughs> life. Yeah, no, that song healed a lot of people. Bring the heat. When I no lelang, when I go mixing, na go dlalo pina yo no lelang. What What were you thinking I, about? I was. <laughs> I, I was excited. Um, I was excited. I did a show uh -huh. called In a Soul Fourteen Hours of House. That show, I I play for fourteen hours alone. Fourteen hours. Yeah, fourteen hours of so house. So tomorrow dlalo kana go mang. Ka twelve. And finish at three. Sure, in a soul. Oh, that music you are how fail out. No, 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 even other people's music. Uh. Yeah. So that's all that show I've been doing it, I think, since 2017. You know, all Is the it time. an annual show? Yes, an annual show. I do it okay. in November. So whenever I do that show, it rains and stuff. Mm. So that time. I did that show. I paid for the setup, beautiful setup and stuff. Mm. And people bought tickets. People came and then it started raining like heavy. We had mm. to move the sound from outside to inside now. It's not the setup that I want mm. and stuff. But when we get inside there, it was so full, like mm. sold out. Mm. It was a sold out show. And then I was like, yo, 
it was raining. People didn't leave. These people do really love me. And I'm playing that song, and then I felt of you. And at the time I'm playing that song, it's not even out, but I've been listening to it. Because that song, we did that song in June. Mm. I only released it in October. Mm. Yeah, it was not even out, that song, that time. Mm. So I used to listen to it alone because I didn't even give it to people. So it was that song that I always play alone, and yeah, it was eating hard, that song. <laughs> Is that your favorite song? Yeah, I can say that. Out of all your songs? Out of all the songs. That is my biggest hit, the most streamed song I've ever had. Mm. Yeah. Well done, man. Well done yeah. to you. Shout out to the vocalist. Stop, Bella, man. Dear son, it's from KZN. He's from KZN? Yeah. Okay, no shout out like we bully like we yeah, no, like no, he it. killed no, we've, it. We've got a, a new he song. killed that song. We've got a new song now. It's called um, Free. Mm. Uh, in this song called Free, you was talking about that he's now free from whatever that was going on. Like yo, it's, it's dope, man. Yeah, not DSM. Yeah, not DSM. Mm. I'm gonna release it now in March on my album into the volume eight. Would you consider Russell Zuma? Yes, I've already spoke to George. Uh, I wanna record him too. Mm. Yeah. That would be dope. Yeah, there's a lot of people that I wanna record. Mara Russell opele pina zama rato kupela lire pina zale rato ino soulu really like struggles and pains. Li if tomorrow make please. Yeah, no, for sure, definitely, definitely. Lire pina ele rato. I trust his writing. He's very good. So yeah, I'm definitely sure he's gonna write something nice. No, so I I think after this I just need to call George and find out how far are we with the, with him. You know. I'm excited. So you're mm. dropping more music because the last a winter thing gave November yeah 2022. So yes, yeah, that was cooking. that was just an EP, you know. Mm. Yeah, that was just. Maria Fisa, yeah, it's dope. Yeah, this I know. Now you even have a song, li 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 kabzalu pori. So Rivi say in kia house or ki ki piano or ki. It's musical, you know. Kuri. Uh, yeah, it's musical. It's musical. Yeah, it's musical. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Inner Soul. What are your 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 parting words? Within. Mm. It was I hope I was a great host. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> One of your Sunday activations. Okay. Yeah, and then Kupela O Olayele. Babui Kohai. Okay. <laughs> no, first of all, yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. You know, I don't really do this thing. You know, I always have with them. But yeah, uh, it was you, you know, there was no way I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> Because soon I'll be asking for favors and I'll be told, I, I won't say come. And then, <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I, I had to come. And uh, to everyone that is watching, thank you for watching. I go by the name of Innosol. Catch me every Sunday at Prestige Car Wash in Midran. And follow me on Facebook at Innosol into the page. Instagram at Innosol underscore into deep. And uh, on Twitter at Hey, I'm shy when I'm. Kezo.